Hello St Richard's School and welcome to another assembly with Debs and Wendy. Today's story is called Through the Roof. Ah, oh, home sweet home, said Jesus. Teaching and healing people is hard work. It's time to relax with a banana milkshake. He had just sat down when... Someone was at the door. It was the next door neighbours. Hi Jesus, welcome home. We'd like to know more about God. Can we ask you some questions? Sure, said Jesus, come on in. Would you like a cup of tea, an orange juice or a banana milkshake? Jesus served the drinks, then started teaching. Someone was at the door. Hello, Jesus. We'd like to know more about God. Can we come in? Sure, said Jesus. Join the party. Jesus served more drinks and kept on teaching. Good afternoon, sir. We are the Bible experts. May we please attend your Bible study? Of course, said Jesus. Make yourself at home. And Jesus kept on teaching. Meanwhile, in a house nearby lived a man who could not walk. Someone was at the door. It was his four fantastic friends. Jesus is home, yelled his friends. Yeehaw! Woohoo! It's healing time! They grabbed the bed and flew out the door. To Jesus' house! Yeehaw! Woohoo! It's healing time! But when they got to Jesus' house, the place was packed with people. Carry me home, said the man who couldn't walk. I'll never get to Jesus. Ha, said the four fantastic friends. We don't give up that easily. To the roof. And up they climbed. Through the roof. And down they dug. Dig, dig, dig. Dig, dig, dig. And the four friends gently lowered the man to Jesus. Son, laughed Jesus, you have four fine faithful friends. Your sins are forgiven. The Bible experts glared at Jesus. They were both thinking the same thing. How dare Jesus say that? Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, OK, experts, which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven or get up, grab your bed and go home. Amazing, yelled the crowd. Yeehaw, woohoo, yelled the friends. We told you it was healing time. And the man leapt up, grabbed his bed and ran home. Wow. What an amazing story about friends that don't give up. Can you imagine what it must have been like to be in that house, to be with Jesus, to be listening to him, to be surrounded by lots of people, nowhere to move, and then through the roof, through a hole in the roof, a man is lowered down in a stretcher by his four friends who refused to give up so that he could meet Jesus too. And we see the difference that meeting Jesus makes to that man. I wonder if you have got a friend or maybe someone in your family who is the sort of person that just doesn't give up. You know, they're the one who says, come on, you can do it. Keep going. Maybe it's a teacher at school. Maybe there's a friend that you know you can work really well with. Uh, someone who will cheer you up and enable you to keep going on a tough day. And here at St Richard's Church, we're friends that pray for you, that you might meet Jesus too and see the difference that he makes in your life. So let me just say a little prayer now for you. Whatever your day is like today, uh, that you might know that Jesus is with you. So dear Jesus, Thank you that you are with us, that you never give up on us. You are the best friend that anyone could have. 
and I pray for all the children now, for the whole community of St Richard's Primary School, part of our St Richard's family, that they will know those around them who care for them, who never give up on them and are cheering them on all the way. In Jesus' name I pray. And if you want to and you agree with that, you can say Amen too. Remember, Amen. See you soon. Bye.